today's show and tell, the results of a 23andMe DNA test led to an unlikely family reunion for a local man. Tony sat down with him to share his story. Well, my guest today is Doug Keatley. Doug has an amazing photo of himself and his family that literally changed your life. The photo shows you and your wife and daughters, uh, but let's start at the beginning. Where were you born? I was born in Korea, and I was uh, found deserted on a road in Korea, and I was taken to an orphanage there. They estimate I was there about a year. There were a lot of a lot of children that were abandoned, and I feel very lucky. And and your birth father was in the service. He was in the service. Your birth mother, we know nothing about. Exactly. Him. At what point in your life did you realize that that you were adopted? When was that story oh, my, shared with you? My my adoptive parents were very open about it. Yeah. I was different. I knew, and I I kind of accepted that. I always felt like that I was always very included in everything. Family never never lacked for anything. I had a very good young life. And that was all here in the Northwest? Here in the Northwest. So fast forward many years, you're a grown man, you have a family of your own, and one of your daughters gives you a 23andMe DNA test, and you start to make connections. I started getting little, uh, watching the, the notes of, of uh, this person is like your fourth or fifth distant related, and then I found a second cousin. I thought, oh boy, they we're getting close now. Huh. And so it turned out to be Debbie Pentalion, the family genealogist down there. And she saw this photo, and what was her reaction? She said, oh, that is definitely family member. So now you've met your birth father and the half-brothers and sisters, so this worked out well for you, but would you recommend this for everybody? For myself, it was a very great experience. We. To, when we made the initial visit down to Lu Louisiana to, to meet the family. Everybody was so warm and friendly down there. And coincidentally, you and your half-brother both were involved in rodeo, although at the time you didn't realize it and you hadn't met yet. But one person you had met was Kimberly Moss's husband, Matt. He had came up to me one time, just kind of out of the blue. I didn't know him. And he asked me real, real quietly, you think you could teach me to ride bulls? And oh, sure, yeah, there's nothing to it, you know. Mind over matter. If you don't mind, it don't matter. Uh. <laughs> when you think about this little guy and you see that picture, and now you know he has a family, does that make you feel better yes, for him? Yes, yes, absolutely. What does this tell you about the value of those relationships? Yeah, I, I mean, after having my own family, family is all the utmost and most important. Yeah, it's wonderful to meet you, and I really appreciate you bringing all this in and sharing this yeah. uh, all with us. So thank you very much, Doug. Yeah. You know, I asked Doug about this because, I mean, he was literally abandoned on a road. I said, yeah. no hard feelings or anything, and he has a very gracious, mm -hmm. uh, you know, view of all that. Uh, and his dad was, you know, probably back in the States for about six months by the time he was born. So he's been back to Korea to visit. He has no real connection mm -hmm. there yeah. uh, beyond being born there, mm -hmm. but not culturally. But he has an appreciation for Korean culture. But, of course, he's raised here in the Northwest. Yeah. So. And let me tell you, wow. he is a fantastic father and husband. And just yeah. he does appreciate family. Yeah. yeah I mean, yeah. it is so well, much yeah, to him. And I know you know him much better than I yeah. do. Yeah. And there are many aspects of the story that we could have shared with you. We could do a half-hour special. Trying to <laughs> condense it all. But, and yeah. having a half-brother that you you had never yeah. met that also is rodeo right they traced Wild. it back and i guess yeah. they they're pretty sure that there were events they both competed in at the same time, oh, we're there together. We didn't know each other. Yeah, not yeah. wild. Wow. What crazy. a story! Yeah. My goodness. Just, Thank you, Tony. Now, I really I appreciate see a movie Duncan's here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Right. There's a kind of yeah. movie. We need. Yeah. Wow, I know. And Matt could play himself. Yeah. He's so dang handsome. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to that 